Hey, what's good, folks? It's your boy Pitta. And today, I figured I'd talk about um, five red flags of mine um, with a woman that would just have me just completely turned off and staying away from her. You feel me? In the end of the day, honestly, I probably, I probably got a lot of red flags. Um, there's probably a lot of things that a woman could do that would just have me just stay away from her from a t um, you know stay far the fuck away from her but you know these are the first top five that popped up in my head i figured i'd do this for the purple pill folks uh, you know the purple pill folks that's looking for a relationship because in the end of the day you know a lot of y'all are watching red pill content MGTOW content whatever but in the end of the day the majority of y'all still purple pill and y'all probably still you know want a relationship you feel me and it, it ain't nothing wrong with that man you know one thing about me I'm not going to shame nobody for wanting a relationship. That's not me. You know, I, I'm not really worried about that. You know, my job um, on this channel is pretty much just to put you on game of what to watch out for and how to go about things if you are looking for a relationship. You know, or, or just dealing with women in general. So, without further ado, these are five red flags of mine that would have me just turned off from a woman and maybe not want to talk to that girl again. Um, red flag number one, she disrespects her parents. Let me let me tell y'all something, folks. If a woman disrespects her parents, you feel me? Like is disrespectful and unruly to her parents. What makes you think that she's gonna be respectful to you? You feel me? In the end of the day, in the end of the day, them them the number one people that you should be respectful to and hold to a high regard and you know you should be treating them with the utmost respect and if your own parents you feel me given that they weren't no shitty parents and they wasn't on no bullshit you feel me i mean no parent is perfect you know even me you know me and my me and my mom back when we lived with each other we could butt heads at time but at the end of the day i love my mom and you know i would never do anything to you know to disrespect her you feel me um, but you know, in the end of the day, given that your parents are some or normal parents, you know, um, you know, you should not be disrespecting your parents. You shouldn't be calling them out their name. You shouldn't be purposely just, you know, purposely just going out your way to be um, what's the name? What's the what's the word for? It? To just complete be, you know, unruly to them. You feel me? Them them your parents, man. Them your parents. You know, so if she can't even respect her parents. You damn, you bet, you better believe that she ain't gonna respect you. You know, she might, she might respect you at first. You know, she, you know, she might respect you at first or something like that. But once you piss off or once you tick her off, it, it ain't gonna be that long. You know, until she start disrespecting you. You feel me? And calling you out your name and start violating the fuck out of you. You feel me? So you need to get up out of that situation. That ain't no situation that you need to be a part of. If she disrespects her parents. Stay the far the fuck away from her. No excuses. No if, ands, buts, or, baby, or maybes. Because if she's able to disrespect her parents, then she damn sure is going to be capable of disrespecting you. Red flag number two. She has hot girl summer friends. In other words, she has women that, she has friends that stay single. You know, they pop and pussy all day long. You probably could see them on Snapchat or Instagram just shaking their ass all day long. If she got them kind of friends, stay away from her. Given that you're looking for a relationship. If you're just trying to fuck, hey, that's another thing. But, I mean, if you're trying to look for a relationship, stay away from her. Fellas, hear what I'm about to say. Your vibe determines your tribe, and your tribe determines your vibe. Let me repeat that again. Your vibe determines your tribe, and your tribe determines your vibe. Now, what that means is that most likely, if she pop, if she vibing with a bunch of single hot girl summer friends, she's probably a single hot girl summer chick as well. You feel me? That you know, in the end of the day, you know, you ain't gonna have no cool chick. You know, you really gonna have occasions where you got like a, you know, a, a for example, let's say you got, you know, you got you a cool kid. You got the cool kid in high school. There's very rare instances where. You're going to have the cool kid in high school hanging it, hanging out on the regular with, with a bunch of nerds. You feel me? You know, it, it's, you know, it's just, it's just a mismatch. You know, people are going to gravitate towards, you know, you know, who they have similarities with. And if all they women, if all them girls on some hot girl summer shit, 
you damn sure could believe that the girl that you're trying to talk to or you have some kind of interest in, she has some kind of hot girl summer trait as well. Or let's say she don't got any hot girl. Let's say she don't got any hot girl summer traits yet. You feel I me? Mean? At some point, if she kicking it with them kind of women, you know, eventually it's going to grow on her and then she's going to be a hot, gum, a hot girl summer chick sooner or sooner or later. You know what I mean? It's eventually going to happen. You know, we all we all know that one fella or that one chick that, you know, they was a cool person. You know, they had their head, you know, they, you know, they had their head on their shoulders. They, you know, they had good things coming in life. And then they decided to hang out with the wrong crowd and get into some bullshit. We all know that one person. You know what I mean? So it's the same concept. You know, she hanging out with a bunch of girls that you don't ever see their ass in a relationship. Or, you know, they just, you know, they constantly just up in the club, shaking their ass and just being on some ignorant ass shit. Chances are the girl that you're talking to, she on the same shit. And, you know, given that, you know, we talking about relationships, you probably want to stay away from her because she, she's going to waste your fucking time. But if you're just trying to fuck, that's another story. Shoot your shot. Red flag number three. She is a public thought. She is a public thought. You know, in the end of the day, y'all, no fella likes a thought or wifing up a thought. You feel me? If we had a thought detection test, like a little gun that we could, you know, we could scan women, you know, with a thought detection test and get a background check of how many women she done, uh, how many dudes she done slept with, if she done had sex with a dude that, within the past week, you feel me? Or if she is, if she's a cheater or if she ever had her train ran on her. So if we were able to scan and detect that, Chances are we all be using if we we'd all be using that shit and there'll be a lot of women out there that would be disqualified for any kind of consideration of being in a relationship. But in the end of the day, you know, a lot of these women, you know, they wild, they they're gonna do what they wanna do. And, you know, that's just the reality that we live in, you know. Um, you know, women just giving it up is just it's it's appropriated now and that that's just what it is. But the worst kind of thought, bro. The worst kind of hole that there is, is a public thought, bro. A public thought. A thought that can be, a, 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 one, a girl whose thoughtery could be verified. It could be verified through the internet or verified through a group of people. Whether a woman is being a thought um, at her work area and a bunch of, and you know, whether she's being a thought in her work area and a bunch of your coworkers are able to say, yeah, she done did this and this and that. Or whether you're in school, whether you're in school or you're in college or something like that, and a bunch of dudes could be like, yeah, yeah, this is what she did, this is what she did. Or even worse, man, even because in the end of the day, those, those, that's just gossip, you, you know. But the worst kind is when she's able to be verified through the internet how much she's a thought. Whether she just popping, you know, whether she just shaking the ass and popping coochie all day long, you know, whether she done sucked some dick on Instagram live because th that shit happened. I seen that shit before. There was a girl on my, there was a girl on my IG live. I didn't even know this was gonna happen. I just, I just randomly popped in IG live and she was sucking dick in the background. I mean, it didn't show her, but she was, she was sucking dick in the back, in the background. You could hear the noises. And she was getting banged out. She was getting her back blown out with that super duper ultimate scoliosis special. Getting her back blown out in the background. You feel me? And, you know, that's just, that's the worst kind of thought, bro. That's the worst kind. You feel me? A girl that, that, whose thoughtery could be verified. You know, you could, you know, somebody could be like, yo, yo. You, that one girl that you're talking to, if you look on the internet, you could you'll see that she did this and this and this and that. That's the worst kind, man. That is the worst kind. Or if she got her OnlyFans or something like that, that's that's the worst kind of thought to deal with. You know, in the end of the day, you know, I do not condone. You know, I don't I don't recommend dating any girl that's a thought. But you know, in the end of the day, some of these women are conspicuous with what they do. But when you have a public thought. And people are able to just find out her thoughtery through the internet or through word of mouth. That's the worst kind, man. Stay away from the women because you ain't going to take any kind of pride in that woman. You're going to be ashamed of being around that woman. And you just, you just going to be embarrassed. And nobody takes pride in, a, in something that everybody else has. Red flag number four. This, this is going to be a little bit of a biased one. This might just be me. I ain't even going to flex. She has a lot of tattoos. You feel me? I, I, I don't know what it is, but I just, 
I don't know, I just really never been a fan of a woman with a lot of tattoos. Like, if I had to choose a woman, if I had to choose a woman that don't got no tattoos or got a lot of tattoos, I'm choosing a woman that don't got no tattoos at all. I, you know, my philosophy with tattoos is that if you got if you got 10 tattoos, right, you have a 1 out of 10 chance that that, that, that woman got a dumbass tattoo. Somewhere on her body, she probably got some dumbass tattoo on her body you know she has 10 tattoos one of them tattoos probably gonna be dumb as hell and it's gonna be an eyesore to look at you feel me and you know one and one thing about me when i see a girl with just a dumb ass tattoo or a, a stupid tattoo it just completely puts me off I, I i remember there was this one girl that i used to kick it with i just moved into a town and you know she was hanging out with me a lot and she liked me but i ain't really like her and on um, you know, she wasn't really all that. She wasn't really all that. I ain't really care for her looks. But, you know, you know how, you know, but, you know, as fellas, sometimes we be in that, you know, sometimes, you know, you be in that limbo, whether you should smash a chick or whether you shouldn't, you know, a girl, you know, sometimes a girl is, uh, uh, is just, I uh, hate, you know, a girl is just all right. And you just be like, uh, I'll still smash anyway. You know what I mean? But, you know, I was trying to think about it, whether I wanted to do something with this girl, you know? And I remember one day, you know, we went to the pool together. We we decided to go to the pool. And when she went into, when she changed into her bikini, I had seen this one dumbass tattoo that she done had. She had a ta in the tramp stamp area, in the area where women get tramp stamps. I seen a tattoo of fucking Pac Man. She had a tattoo of Pac Man. And it showed like the little pellets, the pellets that Pac-Man eats. It showed like a trail of pellets that Pac-Man eats. And, and I guess the pe it was trying to like show all, you know, show Pac-Man, you know, eating the pellets and stuff like that. And I, and after that, that just sealed the deal for me. I was like, nah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing nothing with this girl. I'm just, I'm just put off with this girl. You know, at first I was thinking about it. It was like, it was whatever to me if it happened or not. And once I seen that tattoo, I was just like, that's it. That that's it. I don't even want to do nothing with that girl. You know me. I like doggy style. I ain't trying to see no goddamn Pac Man tattoo while I'm banging you out. You feel me? I am not trying to see no goddamn Pac Man tattoo. If I wanted to, if I wanted to see Pac Man, I'd pop on the Pac Man video game, and, and that's how I see Pac Man. I am not trying to see Pac Man on no chick. You feel me? I I can count on one hand, just one hand only, the amount of women that I've came across in my life. That were tatted the fuck up, and I was actually like, yo, this girl's tattoos are hard as fuck. Just one hand, bro. Just one hand. But um, but but that's it, man. I mean, I I I I just can't, I don't really do tattoos. And another thing with tattoos, I know is when when it comes to girls with a lot of tattoos, they usually have some kind of baggage or they're damaged in some way, shape, or form. You know, they, they've been through some bullshit in their life or they just they just got some kind of issue going on. You feel me? It's just something I noticed. And, you know, I'm not going to I'm not trying to judge that woman's trauma. I'm not trying to judge what she's been through. But, you know, I just know that if I didn't cause the trauma, I ain't trying to deal with the trauma. But I mean, that's how I feel about tattoos. I just man, I'm not trying to see no goddamn Batman tattoo on a woman's back. I'm not trying to deal with it. And my fifth and final red flag, she does not have any assets. In other words, she's broke and she's low value. There used to be a time, once upon a time, where I thought to myself that dealing with a more broke woman was more simple. Because the way how I looked at it is that they broke, they probably ain't really experienced much interesting shit in their life. So the way how I looked at it was, I was going to get me a broke chick or some chick that worked at McDonald's, put her on game, you know, put her on game, you know, make her, you know, ha um, you know, have her experience things that she's not used to seeing. And, and the thing about it is that since she ain't really experienced much in her life, she's probably going to be appreciative of it or, of it, or she probably ain't going to be really asking for much because she don't really know, you know, she really hasn't experienced experience much in a lifetime anyways. Woo, boy, I was wrong. Boy, I was wrong. I used to, I used to think that high value women were the more difficult women. I used to think they were the one that were gonna give you a hard time, but it's the complete opposite. Low value women are are, are the are the worst kind of women that you could deal with because they don't know what's good for themselves. They've been in such a, they've been in a low value uh, they've been in a low value environment their whole entire life, so 
the ex their mindset is low value the expectation is, is low value even the the men that she deal with are low value you feel me so there will be a lot of times where you might see a chick that's low value she from the hood and she fine though but she fine but you know she she been in such a low value value environment for so long that she dealing with low value niggas you feel me rusty ass dude you know when the nigga go to jail her pussy get wet over she her pussy get wet over a nigga doing some jail time she just she, everything about her is low value and it's just it's just something that you're not trying to deal with you know you don't want to be stooping down to that level if you're aspiring to be a high value man you know it's just a contradiction to deal with a low value women they difficult they're very needy they always fucking want money they always need their bills paid they always need you to cash app them they always need you to drive them somewhere and it's just a big headache bro it's just a big headache i wouldn't deal with it and a lot of time a lot of things that i notice when it comes to low value women is that um and this is something I experienced as well with low value women. I noticed that there would be times where I feel like I have to stoop down. I have to stoop down and dumb myself out. You know, I used to feel like I had to make myself I used to feel like I had to make myself seem dumber and make myself seem stupider just to, you know, deal with some of these low value women. You know what I mean? And if you if you're ever in a situation like that, you just need to stay away. If there's a woman where you feel like you purposely have to depreciate yourself. You know, just so you could get a chance with that woman because all she's into is hood niggas and, you know, a bunch of bummy ass motherfuckers. You need to stay away from that woman. That woman is no good for you. If you're going to be in a relationship, you might as well be with a woman that can make you better and that can help you grow in some way, shape or form or could contribute to growing your mindset or something, man. You know, but, you know, this whole thing where you feel like you have to make yourself seem stupider and dumber, dumber just to get a chance with a girl that ain't the business bro stay away from low value women stay away from women with no assets that don't got no car don't got a high a, a nice paying job stay away from them because they just pure trouble but those are five red flags that i have when it comes to women um if, if i come across any women with these traits i'm probably gonna buck it bro if i if i come across a woman with a lot of tattoos or got hot girls some of friends or she's a she's a she's a public thought or she she's low value or what's the or she disrespects her parents i'm staying away from her you know them ain't no you know none of them women are women that you even want to fiddle around with as far as dating in a relationship if you want to smash them women go ahead and do your thing you know because you know you know that that ain't really much of an investment but as far as you know you choosing a mate that you want to be in a relationship with and you know that you want to commit to them women with any of them red flags them ain't no women that you want to be dealing with you know you want to stay far away from the women but i appreciate y'all for watching um be sure to like comment the video subscribe to the video and um, be sure to subscribe to my main channel. Um, the link is going to be in the description below. But I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all later. Take it easy.